today. We're broadcasting from the Case IH exhibit. Joining us now is Corinne Fetter, Director of Expositions for the National Farm Machinery Show. And Corinne, hard to believe another year has rolled by, but uh, it looks like everything off to a great start. It is, Mike, and it's great to have you back again this year. Um, this is our 47th annual National Farm Machinery Show, so we've been doing this almost five decades, and uh, we're gr really glad to get the doors open this morning, and um, the halls are crowded. Looks like you have filled up the 27 acres of indoor exhibit space uh, once again this year. We have. Uh, we have right at 850 exhibitors, and uh, even yesterday we had people calling trying to get in the show. That's a good problem to have. It is. You know, we're grateful to have our repeat exhibitors from year to year, but it's always good to get new people in, too. Anything different about this year's show? Do you make changes from one year to the next? We do. Um, one of the big changes we've added this year, we have a uh, mobile app that uh, attendees can download to their phones um, that gives them more information about the show schedule and the exhibit floor and the exhibitors that are here which can really help because if you just walk in it's hard and you're looking for some th exhibit in particular it might be a little hard to find is a little overwhelming so a, a map or an idea where you're going would help that's right we do have you are here maps uh, throughout the facility but it's also nice to have it right there in the palm of your hand now of course a big part of the farm machinery show is also the the big pull that goes on and it'll kick off tonight as well it does. We have five sessions uh, each night uh, of the farm show and then a Saturday afternoon pool. And of course, it's sponsored by Syngenta. And uh, there are tickets available. Uh, tonight's pool sells for $35, and um, we'd love for you to come. I was looking at a little bit of the history on this, which I thought was amazing uh, for the championship tractor pull. This is the 44th, so it's been going almost as long as the farm machinery show itself. That's right. The tractor pull actually started in 1969. A gentleman by the name of Billy Joe Miles from Owensboro, Kentucky, actually had the vision for it. And uh, I think they started with just one pull that first year, but uh, sold out, and it's continued to grow each and every year. Amazing to watch the transformation. Uh, Louisville was just playing basketball at Freedom Hall earlier this week, and now it's going to be uh, hosting uh, this big tractor pull. That's right. Well, actually, um, we did share uh, Freedom Hall with U of L for many years, but now they play downtown in the that's KFC. Right. That's right. I forgot they have a new place. You're right. I'm <laughs> sorry. Uh, being a IU basketball fan, I, I I'm not up. I guess on my Louisville basketball as well, I should be, but uh, you're right. But you did share it for a lot of years. We sure did, and um, now we do share it with some other activities. We had a, a lacrosse game in there Sunday afternoon. So now the for the pull itself that draws tremendous crowds as well. That's right. We'll sell close to 75,000 tickets for the five pools, and um, we're pretty happy with that. You know, the amazing thing about this show each year, I talk about this. I mean, you can walk through this parking lot and look at the license plates, and it's amazing how many states and even out of the country, I think Canada has sent people down here too. It's amazing the draw that you have for this, this event each year. You know, we're really blessed to be so centrally located in the Midwest, so it's easy for folks in the row crop country to get here, as well as livestock producers. Uh, and we have several international visitors as well. I know we've got um, a group from Russia flying in. So that It's really kind of a, a kickoff for the year. And, and, I mean, farmers want to see what's the latest, the newest, what's coming up this year, kind of looking ahead to springtime. That's right, and this is the place to come. Uh, as you said, there's 27 acres of exhibits, and the latest and greatest in equipment is here, uh, as, well, as well as educational seminars where, where farmers can find out more about market volatility and um, weather and just all kinds of risk management as well as crop production. Right, a lot of those seminars are a big part of this as well. Now, over the years, you've added on, you've remodeled to the, the facilities here. Uh, it's, it is just amazing to have 27 acres under a roof like this. Yes, we are very blessed to have this facility. It's the sixth largest facility of its kind in the country. And of course, we ho host trade shows and conventions here throughout the year. So our staff is very accustomed to major trade shows, although this is our biggest, our biggest annual trade show. And it has an economic impact here in the Commonwealth of about $21.5 million. I was going to say, you bring this many people in here, it will have quite an impact for sure. Now, for the rest of the show, what are the times of the show for those that will be coming? Uh, the doors open at 9 o'clock each morning. We close at 6. Uh, the pool starts at 7.30, uh, which is the entertainment piece, and tickets are still for sale. That's Sometimes those are hard to come by, so how do they go about getting those tickets? Uh, they can either go online to Ticketmaster, or they can purchase those when they're on site at our ticket office. All right, so 
uh, off and running. It sounds like the weather is going to cooperate. I would think that would help uh, the crowds be even bigger, maybe. I think so. I know some of the staff had difficulty getting in this morning. The cars were backed up to the interstate, but that's a good problem to have. It's a real good problem to have. Corinne, always good to talk with you. Thank you and look forward to a good show. Thank you. That is Corinne Fetter, Director of Expositions for the National Farm Machinery Show. And again, um, this, this event is just one of the most well-attended events each year. I mean, people come, as she said, from uh, all around this country and other countries to see what's on display here at the National Farm Machinery Show, the 47th National Farm Machinery Show. All right, we're broadcasting live from the Case IH exhibit. They have a lot to talk about, always a big part of the Farm Machinery Show. We'll talk with them next. Stay with us from Louisville. This is AgriTalk.